Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous sessions, we have seen the concept of list and tuples and also we have seen the basic operations performed on tuples. So in this session, let us start the new concept that is Python, I mean function in Python. So the major, major usage of writing these functions is reusability in order to achieve the reusability. So reusability means once we write any function, that function can be called a number of times. That means we can use that function in many programs, right? So, so in order to rewrite any logic, we can write a single generalized function and we can make use of that function number of times. And also, easy debugging, that means the finding and rectifying the errors will be easy for the user if we write these functions. So in the absence of functions, if any program uh, needs more lines of code or more complex logic, then it would be difficult to find the error. In case of logical error, it is somewhat difficult to find the logical errors, right? So if that can be written in functions, then automatically this debugging process will be easier for the user right so the major reasons to writing the functions is reusability and for easy debugging now so similar to the variable in c language we have seen the function declaration next function call Next function definition. So this we have seen in C programming. So here we can avoid this declaration because so first we have to start writing the function definition and then we will write the actual program. So here we are not writing the many main function. So I, I am just mentioning as a actual program, right? Instead of using the main function, I am I am using the actual program. So first we have to write the function definition and then we have to write the actual program where this function call is included. So that's why this function declaration is not needed in Python programming, right? So how this function definition can be done? So here the, in the function definition, so let, let, let us see that. So what are the parameters involved in the function definition? Function definition. So first one is every function should start with DEF keyword. So we are having the DEF keyword. So all the function functions should start with DEF keyword. And every function should have a name. Should have a name. Not equal to any keyword so the same rule we have applied in c language right so we have to give one name specific name to the function because this is the user defined function so the user is writing the function so we should give some name and that should not be equal to any one of the keyword so we have discussed the keywords in the previous session so just go through the keywords session so this name should not match with any one of the keyword Next one is parameters or we can call them as arguments. 
So parameters or arguments are nothing but the inputs given to that particular user defined function. So this is an optional. This is an optional. So every function may have the para parameters or arguments or may not have the parameters or arguments. So it can have zero or more parameters or arguments. And this should be included in between parentheses. Right? So first we have to write the definition, I mean DEF keyword, then we have to write the name and then we have to write the parameters or arguments in between the parentheses. Right? This one is an optional. Next, fourth one. Every function name with or without arguments should end with colon colon so because in our C language we are not using the curly braces so instead of representing the block of statements that can be done only by using the indentation so here to achieve the indentation we have to use this colon right next every function will be having some return so that return can be any value return or an empty return so finally the control will return to its calling function so every function will return to its calling function that may be an empty return or any uh, value return right so return right it can be empty or a value return so in c language every function will return only a single value right it cannot that means a function cannot return the multiple values but here in python programming so function can return multiple values to the calling function that is done only by using tuples in the form of tuples right so in case of returning the multiple values that will be done only by using tuples so here the multiple return can be accepted multi value return can be done using tuples right so these are the some important points while writing the function function definition right so first it should start with the def keyword next it, it should have some name which is which does not match with any one of the keywords and then we have to write the parameters that means inputs to the function that may be an optional thing and these parameters or arguments must be included in between the parentheses and after the parentheses every function should end with colon so this gives the indentation that means a block of which represents the block of statements next every function will return the control to its parent function calling function so that may that can be an empty return or a value return here the multi value return can be done that means one function can return multiple values and that can be done only by using tuples so hope you understood this function definition right now let us move on to the function call function call so as we discussed in the c programming we have to write this function call in the main function or some parent function that is called as calling function right so here also while writing the program we have to declare this function call and by whenever the control executes this function call automatically the control moves to the function definition right see so here the function call also have function name here also the function name arguments or parameters right the only thing is 
this function name and our parameters should be equal to the function definition right so this one the same function name should be written in function definition and the same number of arguments or parameters should be written in function definition right the number of arguments should be equal in both the function call and function definition and the function name should also be equal in both function name and function definition right and this function this function call will be written and whenever the control comes uh, executes this function call automatically the function definition will be executed so let us see an example so that you uh, the doubt will be clarified right and as i said before here there is no question of function declaration because the function definition will always start at the beginning so first we have to write the function definition then only we have to write the actual program see function to add two numbers function to add two numbers so first we have to write the function definition right so function definition we have to write def some add write the parameters some a comma b use the colon because this represents the indentation now here we can write sum is equal to a plus b and next we have to write return or directly we can write a plus b in return right return sum right now write the actual program a is equal to type cast because the input function always take the string enter first number next b is equal to so reading the two values input values input enter second number now write the function call result is equal to add of a comma b so this is a function call here see the function name in both the function definitions are equal the number of parameters in both the function definition and function call are equal so here we are passing two arguments here we are calling the two arguments right now print the result print result is equal to res so this will give our result right first we will read two elements so this i am calling as a actual program actual program this i am calling the user defined function user defined function and the actual program right so we have to write the function call in actual program and the function definition at the beginning of the program right so there is no question of function declaration so hope you understood uh, hope you understood this simple concept the introduction basic introduction of functions in python so let us stop here in the next session let us see the difference between the variables that means uh, in the concept of functions so we will use a, two types of variables that is a local variables and a global variables so i will explain the local variables and global variables in the next session with the example so if you really understood my sessions so like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this functions or sets or tuples or uh, list so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts so thanks for watching so and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much